What's up, my Gaines gang? Welcome to Med Explain, the show tackling tough topics in health and fitness. Today, we're diving into the world of creatine, that white powder buzzing everyone from gym bros to marathon moms. Is it a magic muscle builder or a ticket to Kidneyville? We're separating fact from fiction, bro science from real science. Stay tuned to find out if creatine is worth your time and money. Let's address the elephant in the room, or should I say the water balloon in your gym shorts. Does creatine make you retain water? The answer is, kinda. Initially, yes, you might gain some water weight, especially in the first week. It's creatine's way of saying hello to your muscles, bringing extra water. But don't worry, it's mostly intracellular, meaning it's in your muscles. Over time, your body adjusts and the bloat subsides, so you won't look like a water balloon forever. Let's clear the air right now. Creatine is not an anabolic steroid. Creatine is naturally found in your muscle cells. It's the fuel that helps your muscles power through intense workouts. Kiss those needles goodbye and chug that creatine shake with pride. Let's talk about everyone's favorite organ, the kidneys. There's a myth that creatine will turn your kidneys into shriveled raisins. Studies show creatine at recommended doses is safe for healthy individuals. Your kidneys are more stressed by sugary energy drinks than creatine. If you have kidney problems, consult your doctor before adding any supplement. Let's address the hairy elephant in the room, pun intended. Does creatine make your hair fall out faster than leaves in autumn? No, creatine is not coming for your hairline. This myth started because creatine can slightly increase DHT levels in some people. Unless you're genetically predisposed to hair loss, creatine won't transform you into Mr. Clean. Hold up, wait a minute. Creatine can initially cause water retention. Now you're telling me it can also cause dehydration? That's like saying a fire hydrant can both spray water and suck it up. Creatine doesn't magically dehydrate you. Just drink plenty of water, especially when sweating at the gym. Now this is where things get tricky. Can kids take creatine? The short answer is, it depends. Creatine is generally safe for adults, but there's limited research on kids. The bottom line, if considering creatine for your child, consult your pediatrician. Creatine doesn't magically transform you into a lean, mean fighting machine overnight. If you're pounding donuts and pizza while downing creatine, don't be surprised if your love handles start to resemble spare tires. Creatine helps your muscles work harder and recover faster, but it doesn't melt away fat. Keep hitting the gym, make smart food choices, and let creatine support your muscle growth and recovery. Ah, the age-old question, to load or not to load? Creatine loading means taking a higher dose for the first week to saturate muscles faster. But loading isn't strictly necessary. You can still benefit by taking a lower dose consistently. So loading or not is a matter of personal preference. Ladies, listen up. Creatine isn't just for the dudes. Creatine works for everyone, regardless of gender. It helps build strength, increase power, and enhance workouts, just like for men. If you're pregnant or breastfeeding, it's best to avoid creatine. Hold on to your dumbbells, folks, because creatine isn't just for bodybuilders and powerlifters. It can also benefit endurance athletes, from marathon runners to cyclists. Creatine helps replenish your muscles' energy stores, specifically ATP crucial for short bursts and sustained effort. So whether you're hitting the weights or the pavement, creatine can give you that extra edge. Here's the thing about aging, it's inevitable, but muscle loss doesn't have to be. Our bodies naturally lose muscle mass with age. Creatine helps preserve muscle mass and strength. So at any age, creatine can boost your fitness routine. With so many fancy forms of creatine, it's easy to get lost in the supplement aisle. But here's the truth. Creatine monohydrate is still the gold standard. It's the most researched form and proven effective time and time again. Just hold your nose, chug it down, and let the gains begin. So, should you jump on the creatine bandwagon if you're looking to level up your workouts, smash through plateaus, and maybe impress that special someone at the gym, then creatine might be your new best friend. Especially if you're exercising regularly, it could give you that extra edge. However, before you go all in on the creatine, chat with your doctor or a registered dietitian. If you found this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more myth-busting content, and let us know in the comments about your experience with creatine. Until next time, stay healthy, stay informed, and keep crushing those goals.